Hello students. So uh, today we are going to do number four. Okay, that is of same exercise. That is exercise twelve point two. Okay. So uh, the question number four says a triangle and a parallelogram have the same base and same area. Okay. So there is one triangle and one parallelogram whose base are same and they are of same area. If the sides of a triangle are twenty six centimeter, twenty eight centimeter, and thirty centimeter, and the parallelogram stands on the base twenty eight centimeter, find the height of the parallelogram. Okay, so the first what we will do here is we'll first try to find the area of a triangle. Why? Because according to the question, the triangle triangle and a parallelogram. Has same area, isn't it? So same area means uh, if I found the area of triangle, if I find the area of a triangle, then the area of parallelogram will be the same. Okay. So first, how will you find the area of a triangle? First, you'll okay. Here, a equals to twenty six uh, centimeter, isn't it? Because the sides of a triangle are already given twenty eight centimeter and Thirty centimeter, isn't it? Next, what you will do? You will find the um, area, isn't it? So to find the area, you will need a. A is equal to a plus b plus c by two, which is equal to a is twenty six plus twenty eight plus thirty divided by two, isn't it? So how much will you get if you add all this? Then you will get eighty four by two equals to forty two centimeters. So A C is forty two centimeter, isn't it? So next, what you will do? You will now try to find the um, area area of a triangle is given by according to the Heeren's formula A C into A C minus A. S minus B and S minus C, isn't it? Okay, so now put the value of S, A, B, and C. So under root of S is forty-two. So forty-two minus A is twenty-six. Forty-two minus B is also uh, B is twenty-eight. Then forty-two minus C is thirty, isn't it? Okay, I am just putting the value. So now next, what is my task? Now I will. Uh, simplify it. Okay, so this is forty-two into uh, this one is twenty. Uh, forty-two minus twenty-six is how much? Is it sixteen? Into this is forty-two minus twenty-eight is fourteen, isn't it? So forty-two minus thirty is twelve. Okay. So next, what I will do is I will prime factorize all it, all of this. So two into three into seven. If you prime factorize forty-two. Okay, now sixteen is two into two into two into two, isn't it? Two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen. Okay, next fourteen. Fourteen is how much? Two into seven, and lastly twelve is two to the four, four three is a twelve. Okay, next you will start pairing. Okay, first ah uh, before that I will write all twos together. So I'm into one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. So total of eight twos. Okay. So eight twos. Then how many threes? One, two. So two threes, and how many sevens? Two sevens. Okay. So now if you pair, then what you will get? Out of these two, only one two will come out. From here one, from here one, and from here one. From this two threes, one will come out. From this two seven, only one will come out. So how much will you get? The area will be two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen, sixteen threes are forty-eight, and forty-eight sevens are is it three three six uh, centimeter square? Next, now uh, as we know. Uh, area of parallelogram is equals to 
area of triangle as it is given in the question isn't it but what is the formula for the area of a parallelogram area of a parallelogram is base into height okay an area of triangle is how much we just got it as 336 so base so now uh, base of the parallelogram is also given so base of parallelogram is how much 28 into h equals to 336 so from here we can find height isn't it so h equals to 336 divided by 28 isn't it so if you cancel it then how much will you get if you cancel with 4 then 4 7 is 28 4 8 is 4 4 is 7 12 so h equals to 12 centimeter isn't it so you got h as 12 isn't it so therefore height of a parallelogram equals to 12 centimeter okay so this is the answer for question number four now uh, you can do question number five as a homework okay so uh, I'll do uh, question number six now okay so question number six says an umbrella is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces of two different colors okay so they are making an umbrella uh, with uh, uh, by stitching triangular pieces okay so uh, all the clothes are in the form of a triangle and uh, but the clothes are only of two different colors okay only two colors are there means for one color we have five pieces isn't it because total of 10 and we have two colors means one color will have five total number of five pieces okay uh, measuring so the lengths are also given 20 centimeter 50 centimeter and 50 centimeter how much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella okay you have to find the area of each colored clothes okay so uh, before that so what we will do is we will try to find the area of one piece of a cloth okay so question it is question number six solution for each piece of cloth for each piece of cloth a is how much it is already given in the question as 20 centimeter B is 50 centimeter and C is also 50 centimeter isn't it next uh, we will try to find A so A is equals to 20 plus 50 plus 50 by 2 which is equals to 120 by 2 which is equals to 60 centimeter so semi perimeter is 60 centimeter therefore area equal to the root s into s minus a s minus b s minus c so we will put the value okay so this is Heron's formula according to uh, the Heron's formula the area of triangle is given by s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c isn't it where s is semi perimeter and a b c are the sides of a triangle now we'll put the values okay so a c is 60 so 60 minus a is 20 here 60 minus B is 50 here also 60 minus 50 because C is also 50 then how much will you get 60 into 60 minus 20 40 into here it will be 10 into 10 so let us prime factorize all of it okay so it will be 2 into 2 4 4 3 is a 12 12 5 if you prime factorize 60 then you'll get this much okay into now 40 so 2 2 is a 4 4 5 is a sorry 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 5 is a 40 okay then next you'll prime factorize 10 so it is simply 2 5 is a and one more 10 we have so 2 5 is a okay next our uh, tax is to uh, start pairing but what we'll do is for our convenience we'll first write all the twos together okay so one two three four five six and seven one two three four five six and seven twos together so seven twos 
okay and then now threes together so how many threes only one three and then we'll write all fives together so one two three and four fives isn't it now we'll start pairing so this two this two so this two it doesn't have pair it also does not have pair so this two so what which all will come out out of this two only one two out of this two one two out of this two one two so out of this two fives one five another five this two into three will remain inside because they does not have any pair isn't it so two to the four four to the eight eight fives are forty forty fives are two hundred root six centimeter square so this is the area of each piece okay so now uh, but we are not asked to find the area of each piece we are asked to find the how much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella so we have to find the clothes for each color so total of we have 10 pieces isn't it but for each color we have how many pieces we have only five pieces isn't it? because there are two colors two different colors okay and for one color we have five pieces so so uh, amount of cloth of each piece is equals to how much uh, each color okay each color actually equals to how much because we have five we'll multiply with five because this one is for one only one piece isn't it so so this will be how much 200 into 5 thousand root 6 centimeter square is the amount of cloth for each color okay why I am multiplying with 5 and not with 10 because we have 10 pieces but they are of two different colors so for one color we'll have only five pieces okay that is why we are multiplying with 5 instead of 10 so this is how you will do so now uh, question number 5 was already your homework so uh, I want you to do 7 and 8 also as your homework so it makes total of three homeworks, okay?